very, very big changes are coming to the global security profession. It comes as no real surprise that the world is changing. However, many professionals, managers and the average person don't realise just how much or where. This lack of context is particularly relevant within the security industry. Firstly, the accumulation and distribution of wealth have changed significantly in the past decade. With this redistribution come significant changes in debts and liabilities also. This impacts decision making, authority and influence. Secondly, power tracked over thousands of years from the time of tribes, clans and ethnic alliances up to the present day demonstrate the constant changes, rise and fall along with the transfer of power and influence. Those who once wielded significant power have gained and lost influence as time progresses. Origins of power have a significant influence on security. Thirdly, most people are aware that the world's population is approximately 7 billion souls. What they don't realise is just how the population is distributed and how quickly that has occurred in the past 20 years. The Americas is home to approximately 1 billion people. Africa is home to approximately 1 billion people. Europe is home to approximately 1 billion people. These three regions account for 3 billion souls. 4 billion people are concentrated in Asia. That is 57% of the world's population compared with all the other regions. Individually, each of the other regions accounts for 14% of the world's population each. Volume combined with economics and influence impact global business, especially security. Fourthly, language usage and familiarity is shifting. How and by what medium communities communicate, in person and virtually, is significantly impacted by this trend and influence. Understanding clarity and comprehension are critical to security risk management. Complex and changing systems create complex and dynamic problems. If you have a narrow view of the system or the facts, you can't contribute effectively to the solutions. Finance, economics, food, health, supply chain, information, distribution and knowledge are some of the critical complex systems affected by these changes and influences. Competition for market share, growth and retention remain primary drivers for transnational business entities. Security risk management has a significant and essential role within these systems and supporting market objectives. However, demonstration and application of professional processes and standards have become even more critical. That is understanding and acceptance as a profession, not the self-declared quality of one's work ethic. Former military, police and government pedigree are not enough. It has become a minor factor and even less relevant for the most part. Advanced understanding, application and integration of technology has also become paramount. Lack of competencies within the security industry will see the decline of security businesses and individuals. Security research practices and principles developed primarily in the UK and US now represents a minority. Inability to analyze, implement and manage security systems within these changing environments will make businesses and individuals much less relevant and employable. Entry level security functions are now dominated by the more populous and influential world regions. Change is here. The change will accelerate over the next 10 years. The security industry is changing but rationalisation will sweep through the industry. Where do you sit on this continuum? How future-proof is your education, experience and global relevance? I'm Tony Ridley, International Security Risk Management Professional. Thank you for watching.